How you doing, everybody? Today we're going to take a quick look at Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets, which stars Dane DeHaan as Valerian, Cara Delevingne as Laureline, hey, that rhymes, and written and directed by Luc Besson. Valerian and the City of a Thousand Planets is based on a comic book series that Besson grew up with, and it's a comic book series that you probably haven't heard of unless, like Besson, you grew up in France. But now Besson can finally bring his beloved childhood heroes to the big screen for all the world to enjoy. And it's... Well... Adequate... I guess? Some of the marketing for this movie compared it to Avatar, which honestly seems pretty appropriate because much like Avatar, it's visually amazing, but doesn't have a whole lot to offer beyond that. And I can honestly say I wasn't bored, but wasn't exactly overwhelmed either. The visuals are this movie's bread and butter, and anyone who does plan on seeing this movie should definitely see it on the big screen, because god damn it looks fantastic. The environments, the aliens, the special effects, it's great. But it is definitely spectacle over substance, and story-wise, it doesn't have a lot to offer. It's a very basic sci-fi action movie, and nothing more. It really doesn't do anything new or fresh or groundbreaking. And yes, I am aware that the comic book series this movie is based on first came out back in 1967. And back then, a lot of this stuff may have felt new and fresh and exciting, but it's not 1967 anymore. And if you grew up with the comics, then this might give you a nice nostalgia trip. But otherwise, I can't imagine there's going to be much here for you. Now, there are some noteworthy things in this movie. Not exactly in a good way. The most noteworthy thing I found was just how shockingly bad the two leads are. Dehan and Delavine, as Valerian and Laureline, respectively. They are bad individually, and they are even worse together. Dehan just sounds like he's trying to play a douchebag surfer, brah. Like he's channeling the spirit of Keanu Reeves in all the worst ways. And Delavine, who you might remember as the Enchantress, you know. Yeah, I do not have high hopes for this woman's acting career. Her character is a total blank slate. She has no personality whatsoever. Her performance was so robotic that for a while I actually thought this character was supposed to be an android. And the so-called romance between these two? Who no, 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 no. Even in the 1960s, I can't imagine people would actually find this romantic. The very first time we see these two, they are on a beach. Not a real beach, it's a hollow deck on their ship, but whatever. They're on a beach, and the entire time they're on this beach, Valerian is constantly trying to force himself on Laureline, and she's constantly trying to push him away, and I think we're supposed to interpret this as playfulness, but it just came across kind of creepy, and it made Valerian look like such a self-absorbed ass with just a hint of rapiness. Who the fuck thought this was a good idea? God damn it, Luke, what were you doing? And then, before the first act is even over, out of the fucking blue, he just asks her to marry him. What? Like, where the fuck did this even come from? At least take her out to dinner first, man. Come on. And the amazing thing is, she actually considers this. It's not an automatic, oh, hell no. No, she thinks about it. Girl, what are you doing? Now, I suppose it's not the worst love story I've ever seen. It's better than Fifty Shades, but, you know, that's not exactly a very high bar to clear. And apart from looking good in swimsuits, I really don't know why these two are attracted to each other in the first place. She's boring, he's an asshole. Why? And it seemed to me like the movie could not figure out exactly what these two characters are supposed to be. Because officially, it seems like they're supposed to be military operatives, 
but at other times they're acting like these Han Solo-esque smugglers. And which is it? Are they heroes? Are they anti-heroes? Just, you can do it either way, but you gotta pick one. Now, there are talented people in this movie. You got Clive Owen, Ethan Hawke, John Goodman, or at least the voice of John Goodman, and they are all trying their damnedest. Ethan Hawke's character was actually kind of fun. And even Rihanna has a small part in this movie, and she was putting forth a better-than-usual effort for her. She tried. She gave a damn, definitely, but... Nothing was gonna save this movie. Especially when they decided to open it against a new Christopher Nolan movie. That was probably a mistake. Honestly, after seeing the trailers for this movie and hearing a little bit about the comics on which it was based, I was hoping for one of two things. Either it would just be amazing and blow me the fuck away, or it would look pretty but be hilariously stupid, a la Jupiter Ascending. And instead, I got something somewhere in the middle. It's not especially good, it's not especially awful, it's just... average. And if you're gonna spend 200 million dollars, you gotta do better than average. If you have any interest in seeing it, even after <laughs> what I just said about it, I would say you should see it on the big screen, because it does look fantastic. But don't pay full price. Pay the matinee price, and don't even spring for the 3D. Not because the 3D looks bad, it's fine, it's just not worth the money. And if you don't have any interest in seeing it, I don't blame you. And that's all I got to say about Valerian, so until next time, take care.